Alright guys, it's me Alan Gage, coming at you at 12 gauge 44. Uh, we've been getting into predator hunting lately and I just thought it would be a good idea to show you some of our predator hunting equipment since we did a lot of research and time put into it trying to figure out the best stuff, the cheapest stuff, the stuff that's going to work for us. And we thought that might be beneficial to you guys. So, um, first off, the, the collar, we want the Fox Pro Banshee. Uh, I think this has just got the pre-downloaded calls in it. Uh, we're gonna we have some of our own calls that we added to it out of the Fox Pro library, but we really only use maybe five to ten different calls. So, but just make sure you get the ones that you like. A lot of squeaking and higher pitch noises seem to work pretty good. Um, it's got pretty good volume. We're out here hunting eastern coyotes, so that's a we don't have to reach long long distances, but you gotta get them out of the woods. And, um, but yeah, that, this seems to be working pretty good for us. And we like quite a bit. I wish the, we gotta find some rechargeable batteries. So that's one thing I'd recommend is rechargeable batteries. Because you don't want to be out in the middle of your stand. Now these batteries die and you're going to be buying new, I think it takes 10 batteries. So 10 AA batteries every, every couple of times you go at it. But they didn't last pretty long, that's one thing. Um, here's the caller, oh, the remote for it. Uh, the remote's a little... A little touchy, a little harder to use, but it, it works. That's what that's what matters. It works all right. Um, for the lights, uh, we we do a lot of coon hunting. If you haven't seen any coon hunting videos, make sure you go check those out. Uh, just our walking light, we use this. Most stuff we got off of Amazon. Uh, this right here is just some oh dear bright LED lamp. It's uh, it's really light. It's a really good light. Um, if you guys want, I could take it out at night and shine all these lights for you to give you an idea. Uh, I think this light was only like 30 bucks. There's also a headlamp that's just like this, but uh, I'd re really recommend this. This is what we got just to go coon hunting with, and for 30 bucks you can't really go too wrong with that. Um, I bought this little bit fancier headlight. It's a cap light, and um, it's got the, a bunch of different settings. I think this is the Kori K-O-H-R-E-E -E, uh, headlight on Amazon too. Uh, it's got the white with three settings, high, low, and medium. And then it's got the red, which we use for most for predator hunting. And then the green, which we also use for spotting coon and stuff like that. But uh, you want to make sure you got red lights. That's what we, we did a lot of research. At first we were using green, but we've been seeing a lot more when we've been switching to red. And this is a pretty good light. I'd, I'd probably recommend it. The only thing I dislike about this is this top comes off this bracket really easily. And it's popped off my head a couple times. And especially bending over, jiggling around. You don't know what you're doing out there. It's going to pop off and you're, it's going to give you a couple of seconds to put it back on. You don't want to be messing with that when there's a coyote coming in or something like that. But if you're not jostling around a whole lot, then it works pretty good. It's a pretty nice light. And this is this is Elliot's light. He's my partner in crime here. Um, I don't know the exact name of it. On the, on the light itself it says OD Pro, O-D-E-P-R-O, and then some numbers are KL52. Uh, this is a nasty light. I think this is my headlight was about $100, the other light was about $30, the headlight for that other one is also $30. I think this is a $100 handheld light, and it is extremely bright. It's hard to tell on the camera, but if you guys want to, so if you want to see all these lights at night to get, get kind of get a comparison, I could probably make a whole video on all the lights we have. But uh, this one is the strongest red light that we, that we currently have, and I... I'd highly recommend this light if you got the money for it. And then I don't know if you guys can see. I'll get up close. Uh, this right here is a custom-made little uh, recording mount that Elliot used. He we got the we, he uh, he welded some pieces of metal together to make a little handheld so you can be scanning while the camera is mounted on right to this bracket up here. So we can record all of our predator hunting things. I'm sure they, they, they sell something like this, but we didn't feel like buying it. We spent enough money as it is, to be honest with you. So uh, he made this cool little bracket. And if you want some tips or anything on how to make this, just let us know. 
this is just the rifle, well, this, the gun attachment that you just mount to the bottom, and then just this to the top of it for the camera. And it works out pretty good. You just gotta make sure you get it bent the right way so the camera is looking the same place that the light's looking. That's the only suggestion I would say. All right, and then while you're sitting there, at first we were just sitting on the ground. Everything we bought, we kind of worked up to it. Um, like the electronic collar, we tried the handhelds. They weren't working too good, so we went with that. We tried the white lights. We tried the green lights. We tried the red lights. And at first, we set, we're sitting on the ground, but then we went and bought these nifty little things. We got these at, at Walmart for like five bucks. It's just a little fold-up stool, basically. And it just gets you off the ground, gets you off the snow, gets you off of whatever you need to. So you're at least sitting there, you got a little bit better view. And I'd, I'd highly recommend getting something like this. For five bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, they come with a little, little uh, uh, strap for you. But what we do is we got Elliot's old backpack. We just shove them, put both of those stools in the back. We get the collar in the front. You get the lights that we're holding on to. Uh, we got extra batteries on the side pockets. I'd highly recommend getting yourself a, a bag to carry all your stuff in because it's just going to be a lot to carry in into the woods every time. And once you get a bag, you can just throw on your back and go. There's no messing around. I'd, I'd highly recommend getting a bag to put everything in. Now last but not least, probably the thing that we did the most research on is the gun. This right here is a 17 uh, Winchester Super Mag. It's the Savage B Mag model. Um, I, I'd like to say this is a really good gun. I, I do think it should be a really good gun. The only thing that I have a problem with is the clip that comes with this. Uh, it doesn't want to feed the next bullet up regularly. If you only have a few, it's like an eight chambered round or something. And if you only put like three in there, it, it chambers out fine. But uh, if you get more than that, it gets stuck. So when you kick out your bullet you shot and put the next one in, it doesn't put another bullet in for some reason. But that might just be the clip. But I looked online and people were having the same issue. So I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with that. We bought some stuff to kind of play with that. So we'll see how we, if we can fix that problem. But uh, otherwise, this is a really good gun. It's it's not a center fire, so uh, if for whatever reason your state doesn't allow uh, center fires during the during hunting seasons or whatever at night or whatever, uh, I'd I'd go with this because it definitely has enough punch. Um, we could show some pictures of fox and stuff that it's done damage to if you want to see the damage. That's the reason why we went with this, is I really like to be fur friendly. I skin and stretch all my furs, so anything that could make it a bit more valuable, I'd recommend this. Um, the one, I did notice that the one fox we shot, I hit the shoulder, and it put a pretty good size hole in the shoulder. So it actually did quite a bit more damage than I thought it was going to do for being fur friendly. I thought I was going to leave it a quarter size hole. It left more like a like a good sized softball hole for just this teeny tiny little bullet. It definitely has more power than a 22 mag or a 22 long rifle or anything along those sorts. But um, if you want to be more fur friendly than like a 243 or a 223 or 220, anything like that, this is going to do a lot less damage, but still have the power to hopefully knock down a big eastern yoke. I'll tell you that when I find out. But as far as the gun, uh, we put this, uh, I think it's a 23 inch bipod on the bottom of it. It works out pretty good, that way it gets your, keeps your gun up off the dirt and the mud and the snow. Um, for this the scope, I just wanted to get a little fancy. You don't have to buy this fancy of a scope. I'd probably recommend just like a normal scope or they have predator hunting scopes. They're just like little ones that they light up. Uh, this one right, lights up, I think, three different maybe five different modes of red and green from light to dark. Uh, it has a 6 to 24 times zoom on it. Uh, it's, it's also got focusing on the end. I bought this scope off of Amazon for like 30 or 40 bucks. Uh, I, I think this this bipod, I think it was like 40 bucks maybe. 
Um, and then, as you can see, the gun, uh, we dipped that in just water and spray paint, and it turned out really good. I could not complain at all on that. If you want to see any how we dip stuff, I made a video on dipping deer skulls a while back, but we should probably should have recorded this one because this thing came out nasty. But yeah, we did the same exact process, and this is how it turned out. We were just going for like a kind of a snow camo type look to it without actually making it look like snow camo, just all swirls and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, we, we usually go out like right around to dusk to dark time, and then we hunt until we get tired of hunting, see what we get. Our best night so far is two fox and one yoke. And that we shot the yoke with the 243 and two fox with that. And yeah, that was about our best night so far. We just got started. This is our first year. We so our season opened up for coyotes October 1st. Fox was I think October 23rd or 25th or something. So we just got started here. Um, we'll hopefully be having some videos coming to you soon on that. And uh, otherwise, take care, guys. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below. And Hope to hear from you. Have a good one.